So here we are, here we are, the beginning of a new school year. I'm so happy you're here. And as you can see, we started with our simple shapes. You guys were awesome. You got those circles and rectangles and squares and you turned them into awesome animals. Some of you even got to coloring already. Can't believe you gotten so far in such a short amount of time. So here, 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 here is mine. Here's the one I decided to do. I wanted to do the tropical fish. I kind of loved that one. Um, so here I go. I'm gonna go ahead and start with the different lines and different shapes. This is a curved line at the top, another curved line at the bottom, basically kind of making a triangle. Uh, go ahead and put the mouth in, and then I add that last line of the triangle, more of a curve than a straight line. Um, okay, and then I go ahead to the tail, kind of the same sort of thing, um, the same kind of triangle on the back. Go ahead and put the eyeball in, a circle inside of a circle. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put the stripes, uh, basically just a series of straight lines. Guys, some of you drew this with me and you were awesome, okay? So as you can see, these things are so simple to draw. If you know your shapes and lines, those basic shapes and basic lines that we practiced on the first day, you can draw pretty much anything you want to draw. So see here, while I got a little extra room, I decided to do a couple more, um, just kind of to fill in the page and, 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 and create a really nice composition. Um, all right, so once that's done and I got completed with all the fish I wanted to draw, I go and grab myself a black, which is of course, this is step two. Step one was draw it, create it all. Step two, of course, was trace it with the black crayon. Of course, that, if you haven't done that before, that's, that, that just makes it look really neat. Almost like you're creating your own coloring page. Um, so you take your time, do your best, stay on the line that you drew for yourself. And I did notice the smaller I drew, the uh, harder it was to trace. So be mindful of that. Um, don't draw too small or you're gonna have a hard time tracing it with the black crayon. Um, okay, so after that was done, it's time to go to the coloring. This is stage three. And I want you to notice something. Look at this, look at this, look at this. I'm going to color all in one direction, up and down, because that makes it look much neater. The scribble scratch coloring that you might be used to doing in the past, well, that's gonna be over. From now on, we're all gonna color in one direction. And looky, 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 I'm coloring nice and dark too. I didn't leave any of that white of the paper showing. That's what I need for you to do as well. Make sure you're coloring in one direction. Oh, oh, wow, I got a little black on my crayon. Get that off, get that off. We don't wanna smear it all that much, okay? And then we're gonna continue. Yes, coloring all in one direction and coloring nice and dark. Sometime I call it coloring heavily. <laughs> now that I've gotten finished completely with one of my fish, you can take a look at how neat it looks. I colored heavily and all in one direction. That's what I want from you guys with your pieces as well. Now I have two more to complete and then I'll be done with the piece for sure. Uh, this is what we're doing today and I'd like you now to go and have fun.